Love to me means happiness. Love is selfless. Love means being understood in a deep way. We celebrate love in the simplest, most mundane ways. One thing that my brother and I especially look forward to is mum and dad's wedding anniversary. So they have an incredible love story. It should be The Notebook Part 2. And so we celebrate their anniversary every year and have done ever since we were little. Uh, our perfect day together. We, we could be doing anything and be anywhere together and it's always fun. Uh, we can usually be found by the beach or the water. We, you know, a nice restaurant, something, we love food. Um, any, any, anything that we do is always great. Well, to be honest, my favourite memories and moments are just us spending time together and um, chat about everything that's going on with us until we pretty much fall asleep. So I love those moments and I always will. I feel like Lauren has taught me how to be patient. I'm so impatient and I feel like she's taught me to slow down and appreciate the small things. Yeah, my favourite childhood memory with Monica would be when I was around 10 and she was 14. She asked me if she could read the first Harry Potter to me and I refused. I was like, no thanks. And then she said, please, I'll give you some chocolate if I can read it to you. So obviously being a chocoholic, I was like, yes. Um, it was, yeah, such a good memory and she used to impersonate each character's voice and it was, yeah, so much fun. He's sweet, he's funny, he's kind, he's a mama's boy, um, total 10, total babe. And yeah, I just couldn't imagine a future without you in it, so that's how I knew that you were the one. I so then I told her to get ready to go to dinner and then she was getting ready and I was like, you gotta get real dressed up. Yeah, we had dinner and I planned to do it early as the sun was going down. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I sort of got scared. <laughs> you got scared? Yeah. <laughs> and then it got later and later as it got so about 10, I think, 10 or 11. So I ended up getting down on one knee and popping the question. It was beautiful. The golden hour was gone, but it was still beautiful. <laughs>